Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. I'm happy, happy to be home. Good morning. Hi guys, so I'm home. Coffee bean. Thank the Lord. My home, and of course, with all the traveling to Arizona, New York, everything, of course, now I've got a cold. I've got this chest cold, but it's going away. I'm feeling better, but I kind of put a damper on my weekend. Um, but it was good to rest and be home. Okay, so New York City was amazing. To be honest, I didn't want to leave. In fact, I didn't at one point. Um, and I just had such an amazing time. It was so good to catch up with old friends and see a bunch of theater and be back where I used to live. And like, for you guys, I want to move back. I can't though. I don't actually want to. Like, I love my life here in LA and I love being here and I... I want to just be able to go back and forth a lot, first class. It's just too much. But I got to see a bunch of theater, and I haven't even had a chance to tell you what I thought about all the theater. So I thought that I would go through my playbills real quick of what I saw and give you a brief, um, just brief, tiny reviews. Nothing specific, but brief, tiny reviews. So here we go. Tale of Two Cities. Ooh. Um, look it's not bad. It's not that it's bad. It just doesn't have a place. It doesn't have a place in the current theater world, I don't think. I think in the mid-90s, this would be a huge hit. But it's a little too Les Mis. It's a little oversung. It's a little um, overdramatic. And I just don't think it works. But there's some incredible performances in this, like James Barber and Aaron Lazar. And that girl who played Eponine for a really long time, whose name I forget. Let me get it. I want to get it. I want to get it right. Um, oh gosh, what's her name? Uh, Natalie Toro, who also played Evita on that big Evita tour that went out with Raul Esparza a few years ago. So There's some phenomenal talent in it. So it actually is very much worth seeing for the phenomenal talent and some beautiful songs. It just feels a little bit second-rate wild horn to me. Um, I don't know. I just, I wasn't crazy about it, and I'm sorry. 13, 13! I love the opening number of the song, and I love some of the music in it, and I love, um, I love the whole idea of the whole show. I, I don't know why, I don't know why it just doesn't pop the way it should, but there's incredible talent, there's some incredible music, and it just, something about it just doesn't, I don't know if it's because it's awkward, like a 13-year-old, and that could have been a choice that I admire, that the whole show kind of feels awkward, like being 13 is awkward, um, but some of it just doesn't really work for me. And I, you know, and I love Jason Robert Brown, adore him as a composer. And um, I don't know why, it just doesn't really work. It just, it, it's, but it's enjoyable. It's, it's entertaining. It's just nothing pops out. Things are, I'm having trouble with the fact that theater is just not popping out to me these days, except for some things like this. And no, you can make all your pop out jokes you want about what popped out at me. This show, is incredible. Equus starring Daniel Radcliffe and Richard Griffiths, which Richard Griffiths could stand and read the yellow pages and I would find that fascinating. And Daniel Radcliffe is so good in this show. This show is so good and it's stunning and it's jarring and it's like no other Equus you've ever seen and if, for those of you who think, ugh, I don't like Equus, see this show. This makes you like Equus. This is genius, brilliant. I wanted to buy the sweatshirt, but it was too much. But I still might buy it online. I probably won't. Um, but I want the sweatshirt. There's an Equus hoodie sweatshirt that I really want. And I don't buy merchandise, so that's how good it is, okay? <sighs> Title of show, you all know how I feel about this evening. Look at that glare, it's so annoying. Um, you know, this was, you've, we've seen how I felt about that. Stunning, amazing, congratulations to everybody involved. Your futures are bright and shiny. No words, amazing, 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 amazing see it. This gives me hope. Title of show and Billy Elliot give me hope for the American musical theater. Um, hope that is needed, unfortunately, right now. I've never been a, a pessimist about the theater. I've never been one of those people who says the theater is dead or dying, but I'm a little worried. And these shows give me hope. Billy Elliot, see it, see it, see it. Title of show, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. And last, but of course not least, the show without which I would have no show, Legally Blonde, Amazing. It closed yesterday, um, 
And so in honor of it closing, I'm going to leave you guys with, um, I went after I saw Billy Elliot, I went over to the palace stage door to see if Autumn and Bailey were there. Autumn had already taken off. Um, um, but Bailey was just finishing up um, signing autographs and stuff. So I, um, Bailey and I met up, and then you'll see what happened. She, she convinced me to come to dinner with her, and then something went terribly awry. Here's what went down. I love you all. I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm going to Dancing with the Stars tonight, so off we go. We'll see what I get this week. They're on to me, though, so it's getting tougher and tougher each week, okay? So I'll see what I can get. Bye. Oh, my God, disaster. Okay. Wait, here's Bailey. <laughs> Hi. I literally just got out of Billy Elliot and was like, oh, I'll pop by and see if Autumn and Bailey are there. And, and Bailey was like, let's go grab something to eat. And I literally, and, and that lady who's who's very nice to me, but she is a she's a she is a she is a mean mean lady. She pushed me in the car, and look, my pants split let me, open. Let me do it. Let me do it. They've split I'm gonna show open. you what they did. Cause thank I God I was wearing underwear. Not my pants. Oh my God! Look, they're split open. Completely split open. Oh my God! I'm peeing myself. <laughs> Wait, this is too... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is a disaster. This is a disaster. And you know and what? I'm sweating. I'm still crying from Billy Elliot. Like, I'm not even done crying. Like, I'm a mess. I'm, like, bright red. So tell me your um, thoughts and views on Billy Elliot. I saw the um, gypsy run. It's so good. Okay, but tell me what you didn't like about it, because I know there's something you didn't like about it, because there's um, the same thing well, that everybody said. There's stuff that needs to be tightened up. Okay. Um... What didn't I like about? I mean, the the only thing the score is not that strong. No, it's not. It's not a very strong score. The story is obviously ama amazing, like, amazing, brilliant, and the and the, the all the performances. There's not a weak performance. In, no, in there's the show. not. Um, and the lyrics I think are great. Mhm. Mm and the dancing is obviously incredible. Incredible, incredible. I do feel a little bit bad that no Billy is gonna be like. What are they going to do about the Tonys? I know, right? That's what we were saying. Like, are they just going to nominate them all together? I, that's what I think. Can they do that? Have they ever done that before? Yes, because they did it for Sideshow. Remember? The two girls, oh, they, they were, were nominated together. They were together. nominated together. Alice and Emily they, were nominated they, together. They have to do it that way. They have to. You said that because way. Because they have to do it that way. <laughs> they have to. Um, I didn't... I was a little... Um, I was a little... Um, when the part where all the dresses came out and were dancing? Well, I know, well, actually, I, I, sh I can't even speak on that part because there was, like, a malfunction tonight. Like, the oh, curtain no. didn't come down. Oh, okay. So that was awkward poo, anyways. Poo. Like, something awkward happened with okay. anyways. So I don't okay. know, actually, what that's supposed to look well, like. Well, yeah, okay. But I don't, it felt a little bit like the part I hate in Wicked, too. Oh, there's when, a part you hate in Wicked? Yeah, the part wow, in Wicked. this. I haven't the seen part, Wicked yet. The part, you haven't? No. That's I haven't, I know. Sorry. That's crazy. I know. Um, the part in Wicked... Where um, they go, they go one short day in the Emerald City, and they go in, and they're and then they're like boop, 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 boop. <laughs> these like it, big like balloon animal clown oh things gosh. come out. Really? Yeah, I just remembered again that my pants are split open. I forgot <laughs> for a little bit, and then just remembered oh, I again. I can't see them. So what am I gonna do? The light is hitting them wrong. <laughs> I was gonna wear these tomorrow. Well, what do you need to do? Like, do you think you should go home and skip our dinner? I think I should go. I think I should. Um, what do you want to go do? to the gym? The gym? <laughs> Why do you need to go to the gym? So that I don't split any more pants. <laughs> I was like, honey, I don't think the gym's going to do anything for your ripped pants. You have but no they're not ripped bad. Just keep your bag in front of you when we sit in a Why? dark restaurant. Are they going to be ripped in the back? We don't even know what it's going to be. I don't think the they're ripped in the back. Because <laughs> you, you went in in front of me and I didn't see any holes. Oh, that could have been a real disaster. <laughs> <laughs> what would Nina do? W W. What would Nina would like? W -W Nina would tie. Some, Nina would tie, make some sort of costume. Take out that of off. Her. Look, I'm moving the camera and I'm like <laughs> pointing all at the same time. <laughs> we should probably stop this because I'm sure we're, we. I wonder if this is a video that I would be like. This is boring. I don't feel like watching this anymore. I think I. I don't. I don't. Oh. I mean, I can edit too. <laughs> <laughs> that was like an earthquake all over yeah, again. No, right? <laughs> stop this thing. Okay, we'll stop it. Okay. Nothing holds all the